What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 87 update. This week, guys, we got them finally. We have rugs in the game, six to be exact. We're gonna show you how to unlock these rugs and how to craft them. We also got some news about the live action documentaries of The Seeker. This is going to be premiering on Icarus's YouTube channel Saturday, August 12th at 6 p.m. EDT. And we over some future content as well. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 87 Rugs. Icarus Week 87 update. They bring six brand new fur rugs to craft and place in your bases in Icarus. They also have some news about the video premiere of The Seeker, the live action documentary. And it's premiering August 12th. And they talk about the DLC. So you have six variations and five animals to hunt down to gather the required materials for those rugs. And they talk about new frontiers. So the first thing they talk about is the video premiere, The Seeker, and The Seeker is the latest installment of their live action documentaries. And it's premiering on Saturday, August 12th at 6 p.m. EDT. There might be an old friend, Thought Lost to Icarus, making an appearance. And we also get a nice little video. It's, it's kind of a sneak peek of this video. We're going to show you guys that real quick. So we're going to go ahead and play the video and then we're going to go through it real quick and just kind of dissect it for you guys. <laughs> this video is only like seven seconds long, right? But there's so much in this video for us to, to kind of dissect. And we're going to go over it real quick with you guys just for fun. So someone we may or may not have seen before. And it looks like it's flashing signal lost. We're just going frame by frame. And then this right here is what you're going to pay attention. Some kind of creature right there. Signal lost again. And then this right here may be some kind of uh, bestiary chart, maybe, or maybe just some kind of, I don't know what that is, actually. Maybe it's an LCD of some sort. Pictures. I don't know. I can't actually make that out quite well. And then right here, right here is the area that I want you to kind of pay attention to. And this area right here, you see kind of towards the middle, Prospector ID. And it says Mochow. So they give us a name, Mochow. A few other numbers and stuff like that, and this person's picture. Okay, and then the section right here, we have some bluebacks. Didn't get a real good close up of them, but they're running. Signal lost again. Goes dark, and then this weird creature. Whatever that is. It could be maybe a new animal in the DLC. And then we have the Seeker August 12th and pops up behind it. Restricted access property of group 15. So this is group 15 related. Project file 1341. And I can't quite make out this, but if you can, comment down below. I can't make out what these words say. But it looks like there may be some words forming if there may be... Maybe it's, maybe it's alien. I don't know. And that's the new teaser trailer. And we'll put a link to it in the description down below, but the seeker will premiere in eight days at 6 PM for me. I have notifications on. We'll be there. I'll try to be there. And, uh, we're going to see the seeker and watch the live film as it premieres. And we're going to figure out what happened to Mo. And they mentioned if you want to refresh your memory on the story so far, they have the first two chapters linked down below of No Rescue and Fatal Sky. The third iteration, of course, being the Seeker. And of course, new content, rugs. This week, they bring up another community requested feature, Decorative Rugs. And they added six new rugs to the Tier 2 Textiles Bench in Wolf Cougar, Deer, Desert Wolf, Snow Wolf varieties. And there's also a little thick woven rug as well. It requires fur, leather, and fiber to make. And we're going to go over all these for you guys and show you how to craft them and make them and all that good stuff. So we're talking about where it's located at, and that's at Tier 2. And you're going to go all the way down here. Right next to the animal bed and above the creature deterrent, the simple one, you'll see in tier two, the basic rug set. 
And its blueprint materials differ per recipe, and it is crafted at the textiles bench. So you need to learn that. And at the very bottom of the textiles bench, you'll see the new rugs. It's the wolf rug, which requires a conifer wolf head, fur, leather, and fiber. The cougar rug, which requires a cougar head, fur, leather, and fiber. The deer rug, which requires a deer head, fur, leather, and fiber. Hyena rug is, you guessed it, hyena head, fur, leather, and fiber. Snow wolf rug, and that is a snow wolf head, fur, leather, and fiber. And of course we have the thick woven rug, and that is just leather and fiber. So it is the only one that you can craft without needing the heads of the animal. Of course, to get the head of the animal, what you'll need is a taxidermy knife. And of course you can learn the taxidermy knife in the tier two, and it is right here, as far as anvil craft. You just take the taxidermy knife, and once you go to skin an animal, skin it with a taxidermy knife, and you'll get the head of that animal. And then you just take the heads, plop them in there, and you can craft you a rug. Like so. And put it wherever you want to. Like so. What is that? So at the very bottom here, we have the thick woven rug, and that is what it looks like right there. Then we have the snow wolf rug. We have the hyena rug. The cougar rug. The wolf rug. That's the conifer wolf. And the deer rug. And that's all six of the new rugs they added this week. Finally! Yay! And they did make a change to the radar. Apparently, whenever you put a radar down, it now will spawn a variety of creatures based on the biome you're in. And this will make it more interesting and have a varied use. But also increases the difficulty as you contend with different predators. So that's the change to the radars. Another great change that they made this week is that whenever you go into a mission, it will show you what tier tech is required for that mission. So this one right here is tier three, tier one, tier one, tier one, three. It'll show you what tier tech is required for that mission. Of course, explorations, they don't require tech. This one requires two and so on. And they've done that pretty much for every single mission, which is very, very helpful for newer players. So they know what tier they actually need to go into, which is good stuff. They also mentioned the new expansion coming August 24th of 2023, New Frontiers. And they say if you missed their announcement last week, the first expansion, New Frontiers, is releasing on August 24th. And we've made a complete comprehensive video if you'd like to see it we'll put a link above and the description down below if you haven't checked it out already just click on that link and it looks like about 2.4k people have seen it if you haven't check it out it'll show you all the new stuff that's coming in the dlc and thank you guys for watching that by the way and they mentioned right here they said they've blown away by the incredible reception so far and can't wait to show you more and that the seeker is the first reveal and keep your eyes peeled for a gameplay trailer to follow so more soon and they said they need money if you'd like to give them money and support their work and continue developing of icarus considering purchasing one of their dlcs for a few dollars it would mean a lot to them and they give both of the interior decorations dlc with all the geodes geode lamps and whatnot and the sticks maps and missions dlc that would be a 5.99 that one be an 8.99 as you can see here they need more sales and also, there's no new content or new future content, guys. So we're just going to move. Oh, wait. Hold on. What? What's this do? Oh, look. Nice. Now you could choose to see the future content or the new content with these little boxes. That's pretty cool. So we got the change. <laughs> So they mentioned the tech requirements, which we've already went over. 
the basic rug set and the blueprints for them. And now Kias won't land too close to campfires when hungry, so they may not light themselves on fire anymore. Oh yeah, look, right there. Reduced likelihood of Kias setting themselves on fire when trying to eat from campfires. No more fire, Kias. And we'll go over the future content here and go over the most prominent things. Be careful, them lava broodlings. Talking about the gas flyer again. Good old clay trap door. Tumblously spawned NPCs are now tagged as such, and AI spawners NPC count around players is no longer affected by autonomously spawned NPCs like he is predator birds and gas flyer. Mentioning an ashen drake and the slug creature. Looks like there was a sylvan range and they took it out for the spawn zone selection options. But they added Jagged Crater to the open world spawn selection options and lowered Jagged Crater spawn level slightly as it was outliner for the Grasslands region. Looks like they were adding different versions for the Ponga, Bulbous Flax, Bramble, Hanging Cliff Foliage, and Double Sided Geometry turned off. Proved the textures of Bramble E and removed Shader Tinting on the Ponga. Add the color into the texture file instead, removing the color differences in the billboard. Check out our Discord. We actually posted some spoilers about some of these plants, actually. If you'd like to see what they look like, or used to look like. And it looks like exotic plant won't spawn on persistent missions, same as other exotic spawn requirements. And to talk a little bit more about the blueback and increasing its health and its charge tech. And you're going to be able to fade the potato and tomato to mounts. Apparently we're going to be able to blow something up with the orbital strike because there's going to be explosions and dialogue will be delayed afterwards. We might have some problems finding wood in the new lava biome, possibly. They have changed it where dry saplings will now grant an amount of wood instead of fiber to increase the wood availability throughout the lava biome. So it kind of makes me sound like it's kind of sparse, maybe? Tier 4 anvil? Well, right here it is, confirmed, added ability to research, purchase, and request new workshop equipment via the Orbital Exchange interface while on a prospect for new Frontiers update. But it actually, you can see it right now. It also added the ability for you to take your loadout items and upload them. You can return the loadout items via the exotic delivery pods on the OER. And on the OER now, you'll see it says request equipment. Of course, you can't click on it because it's not going to be unlocked until New Frontiers. So guys, what this means is that you're going to be able to buy and purchase and bring down workshop gear in New Frontiers with the OER. You're going to be able to use that and get workshop gear. You're going to get random exotics because you can do missions on your open worlds and everything. You'll have missions as well still that you can do and you can get random exotics and you can buy gear from the workshop on planet side and have it delivered to you, which is pretty cool. And this isn't going to happen for Olympus and Styx until Hypatia, just to not confuse people. This is only for the new Frontiers DLC that's coming out soon. So, so yeah, that's what the request equipment button is for, if you see that. And they also added the ability to return other players' loadout items, either by pods or dropship. And players who aren't currently in the game will receive the items next time they join that prospect. Take care when leaving a mission prospect as the hosting player, as the prospect can't be resumed for other players to be able to join to be given their items back. So if you're host, don't upload unless everybody's out. And it looks like we're going to be getting a swamp slug statue. And the swamp route will now attempt to steal food from nearby containers like the Kia. So the, the road's going to be basically a Kia on the ground. And that looks like that's it for this change log, guys. Thank you, Late Night Crew. Thank you to KHX, seven months. Thank you so much for that support. Wolfie, six months. Sergio, six months. Lotus Sandy Banks, four months. Silver, one month. John, one month. Diana Gear, new. And EMC2 are new as well. Thank you guys for joining the Late Night Crew. You can also become a supporter to help support the channel as well at the lower cost of $1.99 per month. You still get access to all the exclusive YouTube members, videos, shorts, whatever we post over there. We post all kinds of stuff. So stuff that you can't actually see on the channel unless you are a YouTube member. And that is for supporting us. Thank you guys.
And don't forget this Friday is Icarus Friday and we are collabing with a another Icarus streamer. We're collabing with Shane. We got his details in the collab and we'll post a link of that down below as well with his details as well. In the bottom of this description, you'll see the link to his Twitch. Go over there and tickle the follow button for him and we'll be streaming with him in less than 16 hours. So hope to see you then. Guys, that's it for this video. I know the saddest part of the video is the end. But don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you great Icarus update videos just like this one and other content videos for other video games. We're branching out a little bit this year and going into other survival games. So check out those when we release it. We're going to be releasing two new videos this week. One's going to be the base build video where we went and seen everybody's base builds and we're going to let the whole world see them now. And we have another one scheduled that, well, the members know what it is. It's a little secret. <laughs> but we're going to have another video coming out this week for you guys as well. Hopefully, we'll see. If not, this week, next week. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace. These rugs are really nice. It's good to wipe off the uh, maybe deer guts. Yeah.